What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to factor sums and differences of cubes, right? So there's basically two different equations or formulas that you need to know, right? So for this first one, if you ever have two perfect cubes and you're adding them together, well then in order to factor it, all you need to do is take the cube root of each of these, right? And then when you take the cube root, you'll solve for A, and here you'll end up solving for B, and then you simply plug this into this formula right here, okay? And then similarly, whenever you have two perfect cubes right here and you're subtracting them, then again, you just take the cube root of each of your terms right there, you'll end up solving for A and B, and then you simply plug it into this formula right here, okay? And that's how you factor them. So as always, if you have any specific examples you wanna see, just let me know in the comments. But otherwise, these are the two examples I'm gonna run through right here, okay? So here we have x cubed plus 64. All right, so the first thing I realize is that I have two perfect cubed numbers right here. So that means I can use one of these formulas to factor it. And here, since we're adding, that means we're gonna use this one up here, right, where there's addition, okay? So again, the first thing you wanna do is just take the cube root of each of these, all right? This is the cube root of each of these. Now, if you take the cube root of x cubed, you're gonna get just x, okay? And then here, if you take the cube root of 64, that's gonna be equal to just four. Okay, so this is my a and this is my b, all right? So I can plug it into this formula right here, okay? So first of all, in these first parentheses, we're gonna have a plus b. So here we're gonna have x plus four. And then in the second set of parentheses, it's gonna be a squared minus ab plus b squared, right? So here we're gonna have x squared minus a times b, which is x times four. So we could write that as just four x. And then lastly, plus b squared. So we're gonna have plus four squared, okay? Or I can simplify four squared, right? Four squared is just equal to 16. So I can just write it as 16, okay? So I simplified everything in my formula right here. So then this would simply be your answer. Okay, let's try one more here. So here we have 27 minus eight P cubed. Okay, so again, I can see that I have two perfect cubes right here. So all I have to do is take the cube root of each of these, right? So I'll take the cube root of this one and this one, all right? So the cube root of 27, that's equal to three. And here the cube root of eight P cubed uh, well, one way you can look at this is taking the cube root of eight and then taking the cube root of p cubed. And I'll write a little three right there, okay? So the cube root of eight, and that's equal to two, and the cube root of p cubed is just equal to p, all right? So here we have two p, okay? Now, as you can see, we're subtracting right here, so that means we're gonna use this second formula right here, right, with the subtraction right there. So again, this is gonna be equal to a minus b. So remember this first term is your a and this second term is your b. So here we're gonna have a minus b, so three minus two p. And then in our other set of parentheses here, we're gonna have a squared plus a times b plus b squared, All right? So a squared, so three squared, plus a times b, so three times two P, well, three times two, that's equal to six. So here we're gonna have six P, right? Six P. And then lastly, we have plus B squared. So plus two P squared, right? Plus two P squared, okay? Now we can simplify this a little bit, right? So let's bring this down first, three minus two P. And then here, three squared, that's equal to nine. So we're gonna put nine plus six P plus, and then 2p squared. Well, remember, whenever you have an exponent, you apply it to everything inside of your parentheses. So this exponent, you apply it to the two and to the p. So two squared, that's equal to four, and then p squared, that's simply equal to p squared, right? p squared, okay? So then that's as simplified as we can get this. So then this would be your final answer. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.